Hi, let's look at the long division method for dividing one polynomial by another. So let me just look at how did we do long division for two numerals. Let's say we were to divide 90 by 4. I hope you remember that we used a symbol like this and I put 90 here and 4 here. The number under this sign of the long division method is known as the dividend dividend while the number here on the left hand side of the sign is known as the divisor so the dividend is always divided by the divisor 90 divided by 4 that means 90 is the dividend while 4 here is the divisor so if that is the case, let's look at how did we proceed with the division. So under this sign, I would write 90 here and 4 here. First, I would look at the digit on the tens place. Here, that is 9. So 4 into 2 would give me 8. That's the closest number I can find in the table of 4 to 9. So 4 into 2 would give me 8. Now I would subtract 8 from this digit that is 9 and I would be left with 1. Then I would bring down the 0 here to make this number 10. Now again 4 into 2 would give me 8 which is the closest number I can find which is lower than 10. So 4 into 2 would be 8 and again I'll subtract this to give me a remainder of 2. This number here is the divisor. This number here is the dividend. The number that we get on top is called the quotient. While the number at the bottom is the remainder. Yes. So I hope we all know about this long division method for numerals. Now we'll also look at how do we divide one polynomial by the other by using this particular long division method. Let me tell you it's pretty similar to what we did for numerals. Let's start by taking an example. Let's say we are to divide minus 3x minus 4x square plus 1 by x minus 2. So this is the polynomial that is the dividend while this polynomial here is a divisor. So let me call this p of x and this could be q of x. So we have to divide p of x by q of x. Now the first step for dividing polynomials is we have to write the polynomial in the standard form. So step 1 would be to write a polynomial in the standard form. Now what is the standard form? If you look at px here, you can see that the leftmost term that is minus 3x is the linear term. That is the power of x or the exponent of x here is 1. While the middle term has the highest exponent that is 2. So in the standard form for any polynomial, we have to write the term with the highest power of x that is this middle term on the leftmost. That just means to write px in the standard form I would say minus 4x square then I would put the term with the second highest power that is minus 3x and then finally the constant with the lowest power of x then 1. So this is the standard form of px. While if you look at q of x, it's already in its standard form because the power of x here is 1 and here it's 0. Hence q of x is already in its standard form while for p of x, we just have to rearrange the terms to write them in the standard form. Now once we have both the polynomials in standard form, I can put the long division sign and start dividing. So let me just draw the 
long division sign this one and again the dividend would come under here that is negative 4x square minus 3x plus 1 always remember you have to write it in the standard form that is the term with the highest power of the variable on the leftmost then followed by the second highest power then the third highest then the fourth highest and so on so from left to right the terms should be arranged in the decreasing powers or decreasing exponents of the variable similarly write the divisor also in the standard form so this would be x minus 2 so once this step is done the next step that is step 2 is to divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor that's nothing but I have to divide minus 4x square by x now this would be equal to negative 4x correct so this term negative 4x is nothing but the first term of the quotient and we write the quotient here on top of this particular sign so I write the first term that is minus 4x over here now when I have the first term of the quotient what I will do is step 3 is to multiply this term the first term of the quotient by this whole divisor that is q of x so it will be minus 4x multiplied with x minus 2 ok now that is nothing but minus 4x into x would be minus 4x square and minus 4x into minus 2 would be positive 8x and I write this whole polynomial that I get on multiplying the first term of the quotient with the divisor right under the dividend polynomial right here so I would write minus 4x square plus 8x now the next step is to just subtract this particular polynomial that we just got from the dividend so when I subtract these signs would change and I would have plus here while minus here so this becomes positive 4x square and this becomes negative 8x and when I subtract these I would get the first terms would automatically cancel out minus 4x square plus 4x square cancels out and here I would have minus 3x minus 8x that is minus 11x and this plus 1 that was untouched can be brought down as it is so I would have plus 1 now if you look carefully here this particular polynomial of minus 11x plus 1 can be treated as the new dividend and we will do the same three steps that we just did again so now again I will look at the first term of the dividend that is minus 11x and I will divide it by the first term only the first term of the divisor that is x now here I will get minus 11 now this would be the second term of the quotient so I will just write it down here minus 4x minus 11 now this term again minus 11 would have to be multiplied with the complete divisor so that would give me minus 11 into x would be minus 11x and minus 11 into minus 2 would be positive 22 correct so this particular expression would again be subtracted from the second step that we had so the signs would change again this would become plus 11x and this would be minus 22 what I would be left with is negative 22 plus 1 that is negative 21 because the terms here that are minus 11x and plus 11x would cancel out on subtraction so I would be left with minus 21 only now again I can treat minus 21 as the dividend 
and try to divide minus 21 by the first term of the divisor that is x so i would have minus 21 divided by the first term of the divisor that is x now i can see that this does not divide to yield a polynomial what i'll get is minus 21 by x now here it's not a polynomial just because the exponent of x here is negative 1 okay so this is not a polynomial and hence we cannot divide minus 21 by x so what i'll say is minus 21 is the remainder and the division ends here so what i got on dividing p of x by q of x was a quotient of minus 4x minus 11 this is the quotient while we got a remainder of minus 21 so this is the long division method or dividing one polynomial by the other now one important thing to note about the remainder that we get is that the degree of the remainder would always be less than less than that of the degree of the divisor this is an important point to note either it would be less than the degree of the divisor or the remainder would be a zero polynomial that is zero so we can look at this in this particular example as well here the remainder was minus 21 and the degree of this particular polynomial is 0 because minus 21 is same as minus 21 into x to the power 0 so the degree here is 0 which is less than that of the divisor divisor was x minus 2 and was a linear polynomial that means the degree here was 1 while the degree here was 0 and 0 is of course less than 1 so that's about the long division method now we'll look at another example for the long division method in the next video happy learning